A new study found postmenopausal women who take statins may be at an increased risk of diabetes. Now, while doctors say that's not a new concept, the study included such a large number of women. There is concern about the benefits versus the side effects. So here to sort it all out for us this morning is Dr. Michael Tiger. Good morning. Welcome back to the show. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for having me. First, what are statins? <clears throat> well, statins are the medication that's used by 20 million Americans to lower cholesterol. We believe that elevated cholesterol is associated with heart disease and strokes, so getting that cholesterol down we think is beneficial. And what drugs that we might be familiar with contain statins? Well, like Crestor and Lipitor, and the generics are out there now with Simvastatin. That seems to be what everybody takes. And how does that increase the risk for women for diabetes? Well, here, here we are once again with another medication that's got a new study with side effects. This was a study just came out in Annals of Internal Medicine, 150,000 women age average 62, and they found that these women who took the statins got diabetes much more often. It's what they called an observational study. But it's a big concern because diabetes certainly isn't something you want when you get older. Right. So what should a woman do if, if she's already postmenopausal and she's on the medication? Should she stop it immediately? Well, the answer is no. Uh, you never panic with information like this, but it does take some time to understand what all this means. We are concerned about any medication that's out there that's got side effects and you have to weigh the risks versus the benefits benefits of these medication. Um, developing diabetes is a concern. Don't forget statins have other bad side effects like muscle damage, rhabdomyolysis, there's liver damage, you have intestinal problems. Um, no medication that's out there is without side effects. So doctors have to weigh the risks versus the benefits and let's face it, not everything is treated with medication alone. Now, is you, there an alternative medication that women can use? Well, there are alternatives, um, but let's start with diet changes and mm -hmm. let's start with lifestyle. And there are things that you should do before you jump to a medication. That's what I try and recommend to my patients. Make sure that you're not eating a terrible diet. Make sure that your lifestyle is appropriate. Make sure that you get the right amount of exercise. All these things are important factors to good health and keeping your cholesterol down. Diet and exercise, we always hear so much about that. Let's talk about cholesterol because that's pretty much what this drug is for. A lot of people hear cholesterol, yeah. automatically they think it's a really bad thing. But explain to our viewers a little bit more about how it works. The body needs it. It's the part most, of the cell wall. Right? Well, the most important thing, it. cholesterol is not poison. Right. And you need to understand that very clearly. Every cell in your body has cholesterol as the framework for the cell. The cell wall requires cholesterol. So dropping cholesterol too low could actually be damaging to normal physiology. Cholesterol is produced in the liver. It's a question of how much cholesterol is in the bloodstream that's available. Something very important, it may not be that cholesterol is our biggest problem, but inflammation in the blood vessel wall is the primary problem for developing hardening of the arteries. Cholesterol circulating can deposit on inflamed blood vessels. Lowering the cholesterol would prevent the deposition, but it could be that our, per, our correct response should be to treat inflammation in the blood vessels first. In 2012, we're really not 100% sure what the best treatment is, and right now statins are the best we have. You know, studies like this make me nervous because you wonder what medications that I've taken in the past are going to have studies about them in the right future. Down the road. Well, I've been at this job for a long time, and there's no question that medications have side effects, that there is nothing perfect that's out there, and also side effects that we didn't know about initially when the drugs were released become obvious later on. Just like this important study that says that diabetes can be a problem with statins. So I think anytime you take medication, you have to have an open mind. You weigh the risks versus the benefits. Statins are very beneficial for lowering cholesterol and preventing heart disease and stroke. We know that. But still, they're not perfect. All right, so for women who are hearing this study and they are concerned, they should definitely speak to their doctor before changing any medication on their own. I think without a question. The last thing I would tell your viewers is to stop cholesterol medication. I think that's inappropriate. But you certainly have to have an open mind and discuss this with your doctor. How do you want to deal with your health? Maybe you should change your diet and exercise a little bit more rather than just stop your medicine. Right. All right, Dr. Shire, thanks so much for being with us again. Thanks for having me.